It's out. Because those that one tweet or that one letter to the editor or whatever kind of sparked that, now there's news article among news article all over the web. That is the journey now being taken by U.S. Senate candidate Annette Bosworth and State Representative Steve Hickey. These posts, these pictures, these words that get put on social can be screen grabbed, can be held onto and used against candidates at some point to uh, you know, make a counter argument on an issue or to say, hey, would you really want to support someone who believes this? And Thanks to the unlimited shelf life of anything posted online, Bosworth and Hickey will have some voters reconsidering how they view the people in office. I would have to think twice, you know, before I'd vote for that person. You know, I'd really have to study what they were, where they were coming from. Posts like these also emphasize how influential people in the public eye can be. I believe that everyone has a right to their own private ideas and, and, and their, their private life is their own. They should, however, be mindful of how this may affect them. The higher standard of politicians is considered for every statement they make, whether in person or online. Anyone who has power should always be held accountable. They are kind of a higher person. They have higher power, so I think, yeah. Posts on any social media site can reach millions in a matter of minutes, so everybody, including politicians, are supposed to be careful before they click send. I think it's a good reminder for political campaigns and for people in general that what you think might be just an innocent tongue-in-cheek post can, um, can catch fire and not always in a positive way.